Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Noelle and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of body system. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 7. The diagram below shows a lizard cap in a sealed glass jar. And why do you think the question wants to tell you that the glass jar is sealed? This is because air from the surrounding cannot enter the glass jar. Therefore, can air inside the glass jar exit the glass jar? Cannot as well. Okay, let's continue reading on. Which one of the graphs below shows how the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide change over 15 minutes? Let's think about it. Is the lizard a living thing or non-living thing? The lizard is a living thing, and all living things need air, food, and water to survive. But for this particular question, do you think we'll be focusing on air, food, or water? We will be focusing on air. So can you tell me which gas, oxygen, or carbon dioxide would the lizard want to take in? Lizard will want to take in oxygen. To carry out what process? To carry out respiration. And during respiration, what gas is given out? Carbon dioxide. When the lizard takes in oxygen for respiration, the lizard is removing oxygen from inside the glass jar. Therefore, would the amount of oxygen in the glass jar increase or decrease? Amount of oxygen in the glass jar would decrease. And during respiration, carbon dioxide is being produced and released into the glass jar. Therefore, amount of carbon dioxide in the glass jar would increase. So in the graphs below, we should be looking for a decreasing trend for the oxygen and an increasing trend for carbon dioxide. Let's take a look at option 1. Is the amount of oxygen decreasing? Yes. Is the amount of carbon dioxide increasing? Yes. Is this what we want? Yes. Therefore, we give option 1 a tick. Let's take a look at option 2. Is the amount of oxygen decreasing? Yes. Is the amount of carbon dioxide increasing? Yes, as well. Therefore, we give option 2 a tick. What about option 3? Is the amount of oxygen decreasing? Yes. Amount of carbon dioxide increasing? Yes. Therefore, we give 3 a tick as well. Let's take a look at option 4. Is the amount of oxygen decreasing? Yes. But is the amount of carbon dioxide increasing? It is not. Therefore, option 4 is wrong. That means I have three correct answers for this question. There must be something that we are missing. The information that we are missing out is the starting volume of the gases. So please remember, whenever we are comparing gases, not only do we have to look at the increasing or decreasing trend of the gases, we must also look at the starting volume of the gases. Let's draw a mini table on the top left corner of the worksheet to compare the amount of gases in the air that we breathe in and in the air that we give out. So what is the percentage of oxygen in the air that we breathe in? 21%. And what is the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air that we breathe in? 0.03%. And since we are a living thing, the lizard is also a living thing, we must take in oxygen to carry out respiration. Therefore, in the air that we breathe out, will it contain more or less oxygen? It will contain less oxygen. But lesser by how many percent? Lesser by about 4%. Therefore, in the air we breathe out, it will contain about 17% of oxygen. And during respiration, we will also produce about 4% of carbon dioxide. Therefore, in the air that we breathe out, it contains about 4% of carbon dioxide. And for this question, we will be focusing on the starting volume of the gases. I will be focusing on the air that we breathe in. So, in the air that we breathe in, is there more oxygen or more carbon dioxide? The air that we breathe in contains more oxygen. Therefore, oxygen should have a higher starting point. Let's take a look at option 1. Does oxygen have a higher starting point? No. So, 1 is out. Option 2. Does oxygen have a higher starting point? Yes. Okay, therefore, answer should be option 2. But let's also analyze option 3 to make sure that option 3 is wrong. So in option 3, does oxygen have a higher starting point? No, instead oxygen has a lower starting point. 
This is why option 3 is wrong. Therefore, our answer should be option 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!